Hey everybody, welcome back to A Little Mountain Life. I'm Don. I'm Natalie. Today's video is all about our new stairs for our loft in our pole barn house. Are you staring at me? Dude, stop staring at me. Wow. That's all. This is the Arky Nice 2 Modular Staircase Kit. And it's made in Italy. It came in a giant crate and we unboxed it. It's a alternating tread staircase, and we picked this to save space. This is such a small pole barn house that we have. We didn't want to spend a lot of space on a staircase. Even a spiral staircase would have taken up a lot more room than this. So you'll see that the stairs, the treads alternate. So you just have to watch where your feet go. It alternates. Other kinds of stairs we considered were a simple ship's ladder or a spiral staircase, but we thought that the ship's ladder would be too steep for the girls to go up and down. And the spiral staircase was gonna take up quite a big footprint and our house is so small we wanted to conserve. So this is what we went with. So like Natalie said earlier, this was delivered in a box or a crate, a wooden crate to our house. And we didn't really have the opportunity to set it up until we were finished up in the loft. Uh, a few videos ago, we finished the loft and all the framing and Natalie put in the laminate flooring. And so finally it was time to have easier access to the loft than the than the ladder that we were using. So I got all the parts together and the instructions and got to town putting together the new staircase kit. Hey guys, so editing down here to talk you through what we're doing. Uh, first, we needed to make a hole for the staircase to go up into the loft. So I'm drilling some pilot holes to kind of mark my corners uh, before I could then saw out the flooring and the plywood. There's the holes coming up through the bottom. It's not an exact science. I didn't even measure anything. I just cut those holes and then connected the dots so that I could saw. First, I started with the circular saw and then I finished off the, the corners with the jigsaw. Lift it out of place and we're good to go. And there you can see the opening, which I would later trim out a little bit more. And then I needed to drill the holes to mount to that top plate for the top of the staircase kit. Once I drilled the holes, I was able to hammer in the anchors. And in total, there were six bolts at the very top of the staircase kit to help hold it into place. And that was going through and holding itself to that floor joist up there for some strength and rigidity. So I think the hardest part was probably getting these black support pieces in. Yeah, these big steel, <laughs> it looks like the spine of a T-Rex at like a museum. Like, it's pretty cool. It's pretty awesome. But they're very heavy, and then these slide up, and then these bolts pinch it so that it doesn't slide. So we had to undo them so many times because the spacing, we would get down to the bottom and think, oh, this the spacing's not even. Yeah. We need a half inch more up here so then we would loosen them all again and try to get the spacing a lot of trial and error they actually have in the instructions they've got measurements and like where you should set it but we just nothing is as it should be in our house <laughs> meaning like we always have to custom cut things and custom measure things to fit what we're doing with it and we wanted it relatively straight but with a little turn at the bottom to get away from the doorway in the kitchen yeah it's got the turn here but we we wanted it to go straight but if we let it go straight this is actually the utility room door behind us. It's actually not the door yet, but um, we didn't want it to go in front of the door and in front of the fridge behind us. So we had to make it curve down and around to fit in the space because it's a small house. So as far as the stair steps, they came with templates where you could pre-drill the holes that would eventually mount onto the steel brackets that form the staircase. And after they were pre-drilled, they went on pretty easy and they just screwed right in place. The thing that I hated most about assembling this staircase was actually bolting it into the floor. If you have a standard slab or standard flooring, not such a big deal, but if you have been following us, you know that we have radiant heat. So we have little half inch lines of pecs running through the concrete floor. And as much as I tried to look back through the old footage and the old pictures of the, the layout, it was impossible to be sure whether or not I was going to hit one of our radiant heat lines. So I took a risk and drilled down into the concrete to anchor these bolts in. 
down here and it worked out. So we got kind of lucky with that. It's now bolted down to the floor and I didn't ruin our radiant heat system. This came with one set of railing, this nice railing here. And we wanted another one, because I guess if you install it right up against the wall. Yeah, if it was up against the wall, you'd only need the one railing. We went ahead and got an extra one to put on the other side to make sure it's nice and safe for our kids to go up. Yeah, so you've got both sets of railing as you go up and down. It's pretty, it feels pretty strong and sturdy. So it feels a little weird the first few times that we did it. You have to make sure that your foot hits the big stair each time. But um, once, once we got used to it, it feels pretty normal now. It feels pretty safe and, and stable and steady. Definitely worth it for the space that we're saving with the staircase in our house. Hey Natalie, did you buy a stairway to the loft? Heaven? Oh, the loft. Good one. These stairs are kind of slick and I wanted to make sure that the kids weren't gonna slip on them. So I got this nice sticky, it's basically um, textured tape for stairs from Amazon. We'll link to it in the video, but this stuff was really nice and it was easy to cut to shape. None of this was the shape it came in. It was made for normal stairs and I cut custom pieces to fit each stair and have it everywhere so that hopefully nobody slips on these stairs. They can really stick to them as they're going up and down. Yeah, it feels pretty safe now. Um, when it was just the bare wood, it was, especially in socks. It's slippery. It was pretty treacherous. Yeah, so we wanted to make sure that it was safe for the kids. One thing to note is that these stairs are not to code for a bedroom or official living space. Right. When it comes to the code, our loft space is not, it doesn't have the headroom to be officially considered a bedroom. So we are able to consider it a storage space, a storage loft, and that way we didn't have to put in a full size staircase. Full size staircase, again, would take up a lot of space and that's not what we're going for. So to get to our storage loft, we were able to get away by code by putting this non-code compliant staircase in place. So the stair kit was about $1,000, right? And yep. then the extra railing that we got was about $200. Mm -hmm. So for the whole thing with, with the extra rail, it was about 1,200. Yeah, I mean, we thought about me building a staircase and we thought about buying a spiral staircase and actually this was the cheapest option. These stairs are actually for sale on Amazon. So we'll put a link below if you wanna check it out for yourself. The stairs weren't the easiest to put together. The instructions weren't very clear, but I think most people will be able to figure it out after time. You have the steel couplings that we talked about that go together, and then the steps just kind of screw on, and that's not really difficult at all. The railing is kind of trial and error, getting the right measurements, especially in our little curved uh, setup that we have. You kind of have to figure out the best alignment, but it's gonna be different for everybody depending on how you want to set up your staircase but they're all adjustable. So they have these adjustable set screws here and then up here in each part of the handles and everything. So, you know, it's with trial and error, you can unscrew it and tighten it back and forth to make sure it's tightened in the way you want it to be. So the next step is to get the railing up in the loft, which Don's working on. Yep, get it'll in be there. up really soon. Finish the shiplap up there. And then also Don's working on the wiring here. We want to put a light shining right on the stairs so if anyone needs to go up and down them at night, it'll be illuminated, easy to see, and safe. So after the railing is up and we put the lighting in, we're actually gonna enclose the underside of the balcony up here. We're probably gonna ship lap underneath that. So you're not gonna see any of this here. It's gonna be trimmed out, looking really nice. So it's not the finished product up there, but we did wanna give the update with, with our staircase. It's actually been in for a couple weeks. So just to update everybody with our house progress, because we are actually making progress. We have a lot more house finishing videos coming up. We're putting our kitchen in, we're gonna get the loft finished. So please, if you wanna see more, subscribe to our channel and thanks for checking out our little mountain life. Well, I hope you're having fun. Stop and stare. I think I'm moving, but I go nowhere.